animals because they cannot even help us. They are also they are also in need of Allah, right? So that's why Allah sent guidance by appointing prophets among men. But is it similar to Christianity? It is like good. Yeah. Very good. And like I said, it's not just Christianity. Even Hinduism believes there is one supreme creator. But the difference is what, what they have done is they're worshipping other things beside that creator. But Islam says do not worship things other than Allah. Only worship that creator alone. So worship the creation, worship, worship the creator. Worship, do not worship the creation, rather worship the creator. So if you're in time of hardship, you're in times of need, then you ask Allah directly, why do we need to call upon dead people? Why do we need to call upon Jesus? We can't even call upon Muhammad. He's just a human being like us. He also called God. Yeah? So this already agrees with your intuition. Yeah? And your sound reason would tell you, you know, wh wh why am I calling upon dead people? Why am I calling upon stones and statues? So what Islam does is that this has always been a message from the first man Adam to Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and then the last prophet, Prophet Muhammad. So now we have the authentic revelation, the glorious Quran, which is the only world religious scripture that is not changed, it is preserved. Millions of people have memorized. And Allah promises this. Allah says, I will preserve my book. I will preserve my message. And you see the Quran memorized by millions of people as young as him. How old is he? He is eight years old. There are eight years old, six year old children who have memorized the whole Quran in the language they do not even understand, which is Arabic. How do you feel about everything? Because it feel? sounds like you didn't disagree with anything. Yeah. No, I'm not disagreeing because I don't agree. There's a lot, but I don't know which way there is. So now, if you, do you agree that? No, the, there, uh, yeah. no there is a lot. Yeah? Really? And there are loads of like, prophets. Really? In Buddhism, we've got loads of prophets. We've got Buddha, who is who's meant to be a god. But he was actually a human. Yeah. But is, is Buddha worthy to be worshipped? Because anything that is created, depends upon that creator. So Buddha, if he did exist, possibly he could be a prophet. Even even in Islam, yeah. he could be a prophet. He could be a prophet. Could no, be can a I prophet. ask you a question? Yeah. Do you believe Buddha is God? Or do you believe he's a messenger sent by God? Do you believe he came with a message or he deserves to be worshipped? Because the thing is, yeah. if he, you... He's like a prophet. That's brilliant. But people worship him because he got enlightened. No, but you don't worship him though. Do you worship I do, him? I do worship him. We do prayers. Yeah, we do prayers. So, do you pray to Buddha? Can Buddha no. help you? Does Buddha answer your prayers? No, we, we, we pray to all the gods. We've got, like, like Hinduism, we've got loads of other gods. Yeah. But are they worthy to be worshipped? Can they help you? I've learned a lot from my school. <laughs> no, no. So you believe in multiple gods? He believes in multiple gods as well. And you believe in multiple yeah. gods? Yes. Yeah. I've Why? learned a lot. Because, like I said, there's, there's one god there. No, but no, no, we don't no. know that. But we Buddha, it. Buddha didn't even teach that, by the way. Yeah, he didn't teach that. But then why do you believe in it? Okay, so where does that belief come from? Because there's so many religions. Everyone's like decided that there is Allah, there is Jesus. There people is just decide. But I'm, I'm saying that there's just one God, but people just segregated it into different religions. You're okay. confusing me, madam, because I agree with you. <laughs> and then sometimes you say something I disagree with you, like, come on. So what you don't, do you disagree? <laughs> so you don't worship many gods, you worship, you believe there's only one god yeah, that you should. No, one she god. sells houses. She's smart. That's why <laughs> she's, 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 she's making she you she disagree <laughs> and accept. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's buying smart. it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you believe there's one god. Yeah. Okay. Now, only that one god deserves to be worshipped. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, the prophet's going to define this one god. Yeah, um, God is uniquely one. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. partners, not trinity, not multiplicity. God, only There's one. There's one creator. Brilliant, one creator. Yeah. I only know me. That one creator, Allah, is self sufficient. But how can you say it's Allah? Okay, good it question. Could be, it could be, it could be Jesus, like Jesus is God's father. It could be. No one has actually seen you know the, any of it. Exactly. No proof. So people, we don't really they, know, but there are we lots just of things. Like it's like ex excavating and uh, you know going to uh, but when Egypt Jesus, and excavating yeah. things. And when, people when are like, Jesus, oh, okay. yeah. When, when Jesus was on Earth, 
Was he a human being like us? Yeah, he was human. Kind of. He had a human form which had the power I know. of God. That's what Christians believe. But yeah. I want you to think of this. Like, I want you to ponder that. Look, if we agree that God does not require to eat and drink like us, mm -hmm. but did Jesus used to sleep? Yeah. Did he used to eat? Yeah. Okay, when we eat, where do we go? To the Does that defeat the majesty of God? Does that suit him? No. Does God need to use the toilet? Does he need to use the toilet? No. no. And you said, how do I know Jesus Christ isn't God? Because yep. Jesus Christ never claimed to be God. He's not God. He's, no, no, I agree. He's, he's, he's a prophet. Yeah. So what about Buddha? Is he a human? So he used let's... to be a king, king's son, like he's like a prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's then Siddhartha he went Kutama. into yeah, enlightenment. Yeah. So, Siddhartha yeah. Kutama, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Siddhartha. But was he a human being like us as well? He yes, was human. So I know nothing. You... I only know what she teaches. No worry. <laughs> that's <laughs> good. Follow. You have to you follow what your mom teaches yeah. you. It, so, so look, look, if you agree that Jesus can never be God because he is a human, he used to eat and drink, he's a prophet of God, then why don't you apply the same to Buddha? Because he was a human like Jesus as well. He yeah, and I know that there is there is someone above higher higher than there's always. And was that Buddha? Yeah, but it's not Buddha. But we we pray to him as well. It's like how you pray to Jesus. But who did Buddha pray? Did he tell you to pray to him, or did no. he tell? That's my point. If you really want to follow Buddha, then you should follow what Buddha did, which is he didn't tell you to pray to him. He prayed to God. Higher, yeah. Yeah. That's the message of Islam. Which is you don't need a middle man. If you want direct relationship with Allah, with your creator, you alone do we worship, you alone do we ask for help. But we need prophets because they taught us how to worship Allah. Yeah. Yeah? So if I was to give you... So, so see, that's, God, why, God, that's God. why I'm saying that there is one God, but everyone segregated it. Different so religion. was Buddha God? No, no, I, was, we agree. No, we, we agree. agree. That's so fine. let's establish. Was Buddha God or was he sent by God? Sent by God. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. And that's possible in Islam. Even though in Islam um, there's no explicit statement regarding Buddha to be a prophet, but Allah does say that he sent a prophet to every nation. So it's possible that he it sent a prophet. Be, yeah, it, it could, could be. be. It exactly. Could be Allah. So now, and he sent him. Brilliant. So now what we say is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him is the final prophet to confirm the message of all the previous prophets because you know pre because pre the previous fact, revelations got corrupted but now you have the quran which is the only authentic revelation so now you have the truth with you how does that sound <laughs> sorry how does that sound so far because that point that point, I'm going to get to that point, yeah. But you asked a very profound question, yeah. yeah. You said, how do we know? Yeah. yeah, we, how do we know? So I would say that, look, Jesus Christ, what, the true teaching of Jesus Christ, Muslims agree with it, yeah. When um, Buddha's talking about monotheism, we agree with it, yeah. Right now, with us, there's many reasons why we believe Islam to be true, yeah. yeah? For example, um, it's a consistent message all the messages of God came with. Yeah? When you look at the teachings of, this is the point the brother was making, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, the prophet Muhammad, yeah? Yeah. they're all teaching oneness of God. Yeah. Yeah? Worship God alone. They all taught that prophets and messages came with a scripture. Yeah. Yeah? But these scriptures... No, no, I'm going to get there as well. Yeah. Yeah? Now these scriptures have been corrupted, has been changed. Yeah? Um, and every time that happened, God sent another prophet. Yes. Yeah? And then, with another scripture, that got changed, that got corrupted. Now, Allah Almighty sent the final messenger, the prophet Muhammad. Because he's the final messenger, there's no more prophets to come. And he was given the final book. Now, because there was the final messenger, the final book, the message got preserved. Now, this is why we're here handing out free Qur'an. We're so confident in the message, that you're going to agree with it. Yeah, take it for free. Read it. Now, what do you... English. It's in English. English. What do you need from a book to believe is from the creator of the heavens and the earth? Right now, that Quran. What would you need to say that, okay, I accept this is from God Almighty, Allah's... What do you need? You tell me. What's your criteria to believe it's from the creator of the heavens and the earth? I'll, I'll read it. And I want to know 
all because I've read all the No, no, I would say that look, some of the points I make, right? It's been, hold on, I, I, normally I'm used to holding it. So I'll be like, this could add. And I was like, who is it? <laughs> it's yours, it's yours, I'll look at you. No, no, you're not taking it. <laughs> um, for me to believe, and I believe this is from Allah, yeah? The creator of the heaven and the earth. And the reason that is, it, he's getting distracted, it's fine, have a look at it. <laughs> Can't blame it, just call my attention as well. Curiosity, yeah. Um, so it was perfectly preserved, yeah? Everything I'm going to say to you now is objectively true. This is stuff you can verify. Not my opinion, no, it's his opinion. The Quran has been preserved. Yeah? If you Google Quran Birmingham manuscript, you see oh God, that non Muslim so academics knowledge. are saying that's been preserved and carbon dated to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. So Google Quran Birmingham manuscript. Secondly, that's our secondary source. We have over 200 million people who have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. That's how we preserve the entire Arabic language through memorization, through preserving the Quran. Yeah. Now, the message is perfect. There's nothing in regards to the message you're going to disagree with. When it <coughs> talks about subjects, uh, it shows a profound knowledge. Because all of these subjects, science, history, um, physics, these are things that uh, Allah is the master of. So then when Allah talks about it in the Quran, it's like there's a profound information that comes from it. Yeah? When it talks about history, it gets it right. Yeah? What the Quran makes prophecies, gets it right. This Quran was revealed over a 23 year period. Yeah? Not in a book format, through God to the angel Gabriel to the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah? Guess how many times it talks about, um, uses the word angel. This is, I'm going to go into the linguistic miracles. If you knew Arabic, you would blow your mind, yeah? But I'm going to give you a very basic way. It talks about angels 88 times. Yeah? How many times does it talk about devils? Hello? Devils. The, use the word devil 88 times. Okay. How many times does it use the word month in the Quran? 800, 900,000. Close, 12 times. How many times does it use the word day in the Quran? 100. No? <laughs> day, it uses it 365 times. Yeah? Um, it talks about heaven and hell the same amount of time. It talks about men and women, the word, the same amount of times. It's like, okay, if I wrote it, now with the computers and I Google it and it's like, it's fine. I don't but know how why, you can... but the least, most, biggest words, the least, is like the word that you use the most. Least. <laughs> okay. okay. I like that. Um, the longest word I know is supercalifragilistic expialidocious. You lost me. Yeah. Um, that's actually a song I sang. That is, but that's in the dictionary. Oh, so in each dictionary. Yeah. He's yeah. not here, man. <laughs> um, I don't even know. Yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is, so if it's revealed in a 23-year period, how is it possible for it to have these kind of linguistics in it? Does it make sense? And there's other profound things which I could explain to you, but it will take longer because you have to have a good understanding. I have to, have to explain the basic principles of Arabic. Did I see it and read it? In I, I am interested in different religion to see. No, what no, it no, is no. You're, you're interested in the right religion. I think you're somebody who's first, who's curious, who's, who's realized that look, there must be more to life. Yeah. Right now, the creator of the heavens and the earth has given you a complete way of life. Islam, because um, it's based from the Quran and the Sunnah. The Sunnah is the actions and the spoken words of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So, so, so now we know exactly how to live, how to raise our children, how to treat our parents, how to treat our spouse, how to do business transactions, um, how to do warfare, yeah, because this is part of life, we don't, we don't shy away from it. How to wash ourselves when we use the bathroom. It's like how to cut our nails. Because at the end of the day, what's from God, from Allah, needs to be complete. Yeah. And he needs to answer all of your questions. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? I think there's nothing in Islam which you're going to disagree with. Do you know? Uh, do you have any questions about Islam? Do you have any questions about the Prophet Muhammad? Do you know I, much I about the Prophet to, Muhammad? I will have to just go more deep into it. Yeah. Then I'll have questions. Please investigate. I'm going to ask you. Please investigate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is why. This is why. Just to let you go, um, is that's this is why Islam is also known as natural religion. Because it's natural to believe in one God alone who is nothing like his creation. But you look at other religions, 
it's and unnatural. It's, yeah. Jesus came as a man, died for people's sins. You know, if he's God, how can he die, right? Hinduism, you know, giving images, a blue skin deity. No one naturally believes this is God. So that's why Islam is known as natural religion. But what happened is because of the society, because of the parents, they tell their children to worship monkeys or humans or trees or statues. So that's why Islam agrees with your natural inclination. That one supreme creator who deserves all worship from us. Yeah? If I was to if I was to ask you a simple question, if you don't mind, if I was to give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly, you will never forget me, right? Two million pounds is a big offer. If I was to ask you now, I'll give you two million pounds on the condition, you give me your two eyes. Would you accept the offer? Why? Exactly, because you value your two eyes more than two million pounds. So why only being grateful to the one who gave you two eyes for free? So the only way you can express Hold your on, gratitude on, on. Let, to the let creator, her just digest that. I can see that she's just absorbing that. Like, that's a powerful point. Does that make sense, yeah? So that's the purpose of our creation, is to thank our creator. But do you not think it's injustice that we thank Jesus, or we thank Muhammad, or we thank created things? Who, they're not the ones who's given me sustenance. They're not the one who's giving you a son. Yeah. yeah. They didn't give you a son. Who gave you the son? Allah. That's who we're telling you to thank him. And yes, prophets and messengers came, but they're not God. But they're prophets and messengers, especially human beings. Yeah, because they, they, they received the divine revelation. But they will never tell you to worship, to worship them. Rather, they tell you to worship him alone. The only way you can worship is you, you follow the prophets and messengers to worship Allah in the way how he wants. Now, if I was to ask you a simple question, I want to test you, yeah? Do you, you love your mother, correct? Okay. Good answer. If you want to buy gifts for your mom, yeah? If you want to buy a present, are you going to give, are you going to give her what you love or what your mom loves? Exactly. So he would give you, mashallah, so he would give you a present that you love. So that's the reason why we should worship Allah the way how he wants. Because if you want to show true love to your creator, who's given you provision, who's given you oxygen, who's given you two eyes for free, yeah, who's given you children, who's given you family, right? Then you should worship Allah the way how he wants. See, that's complete love. That shows true love. Not she the way how said, she said that she asked God, please give me a time. That's fantastic. But now if you want to know whether your love is acceptable, then you have to follow the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. If you want to worship Allah according to his legislation, according to the way that he wants from you, then you have to follow the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Does that make sense, yeah? Ah, so, very quickly. So, so Islam is the when you open the Quran, and I want you to open the Quran, yeah? Every verse in the Quran revolves around Tawheed, which means to single out Allah in all worship. Islam is the only religion that radically opposes polytheism, worshipping multiple gods. This goes against your natural faith. Like, you know, earlier on, you know, we finally accepted that Buddha is a messenger of God. Possibly Jesus is not God, but he's a prophet of God. So every verse in the Quran is warning you against worshipping false gods. And it keeps, it keeps you in check. It's to preserve the unity of Allah in all worship. That's the reason why Islam is known as natural religion. And that's why we have the... That, so that's why we have the authentic revelation of the Quran. The only world religious scripture that is You're preserved in the Quran. All of our religious scriptures corrupted. Different versions, it's lost. This is the preserved message. And one of the things I forgot to mention was this is the only scripture, right, that claims to be from God, Allah, to create the heaven and earth. And Allah says Allah will preserve it. Yeah? Right now, for one of the reasons I'm a Muslim and Islam, I believe Islam to be correct, is the scripture from Allah, there's no mistakes in it. There's no contradictions in it. Yeah. Um, there's something you mentioned. It made me think to myself of the past. Like, you know, oh my God, he's holding, huh? holding on to it. <laughs> What's that, sir? He's holding on to my words. Okay. No, no, no. Because it's important. Because it's a reflection of yeah. um, you and your, yourself. Does it make sense? So listening is important. Mm -hmm. 
question to interrupt. Before they leave, make sure they say free, free Palestine. Jazakallah <laughs> 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 um, So, right now, you, you're talking about reincarnation. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What's the principle of reincarnation? You be a good person, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? What happens? So, it, it, it's similar to, I don't know, Yeah. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah, we would agree, I would say, most likely in regards to how to be good. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what is the criteria? Because, you know, reincarnation implies that look, um, if you're a good person, yeah, um, you're re you get reincarnated as what? So, it depends on... Your, your, your consciousness... Your consciousness gets taken up higher, right? Yeah. But the, the, the issue I have with reincarnation, when I'm just put a little bit of full exercise into it, and I think to myself, like, look, the human population is going up. Yeah? Crime rate is going up. So there are more people being evil, but then there's more people being, being born into the world. So more people are being reincarnated into human forms. So then, like, these are things where if we spend a little bit of time thinking about it, because I don't, I don't want to cause you offence, because sometimes what happens is we're born into a faith, we're born into a religion, and we don't actually think, okay, how much of it makes sense? Because Allah gave us intellect. Yeah? Use the intellect. I was speaking to you with all due respect, um, some Christians a couple of days ago, yeah? And they said that, um, no, no, you, you can't understand it with your comfort intelligence you can't use your intelligence um, don't leave your intellect i'm like why would god give me a tool my intellect and not tell me to use it and when it comes to faith when it comes to belief it has to um, go coincide with your intellect because that's the tool allah, allah has given you does that make sense so i'm saying that look there's nothing a rational intelligent person um, would believe to be correct and think that look it makes sense and the Quran will contradict it because the Quran is for people who use their natural intellect does that make sense it's, it's your innate nature innate nature yeah yeah, yeah. now um, you weren't taught to sorry you, you yeah. weren't taught to say that you know eating human flesh is wrong right? you weren't taught by that this is something that's already natural that you know this yeah you were taught that you existed, yeah? Nobody taught you that you existed, yeah? Um, you had this innate knowledge that there's external world, that this is not the only world There's besides that, right? So with that intuition, we should use the intellect within that intuition, yeah? So the reason why you say you know what's right and wrong because Allah has already instilled that moral compass in you. So this is why you are very close to Islam. It's, it really aligns to Islam, this is what we say. That being said, the society, it's the society that can corrupt you, that can change you. Does it make sense? So then it will turn right into wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna be very quick. I'm gonna be very quick. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. No, no, of course. Um, and then, like, similarly, when you ask a young child, like, is there a god? They'll say yes. The the concept is very simple. Like, there's a creator. They're not gonna say there's multiple gods. Yeah, and they'll say, where's God? They'll point up. Does that make sense? They're not going to say, oh, God is everywhere. God is in everything. No pantheism. Yeah? But then we, like the society, or we get conditioned to believe yeah. these things which are unnatural. I would, with all due respect to atheists, atheism means unnatural. It is. Not it to is. believe in a creator. Because there's science as well. So no, no, but really science um, is a tool. That doesn't I can prove or disprove. <laughs> no, I'm going to let you go, madam. Thanks so much. We'll you you, go, I'm going to give you another copy of the Quran. Because that one, I don't think your son's going to let go of it. Yeah? So he's entitled <laughs> yeah, to read it. He's in bed, I'll, I'll be like, Are you sure? No, no, let him have his own copy. No, and no, then you can I'll, read I'll, it. I'll, Are you sure? It's, it's free. I'll okay, can we get one? You know, no, no, no. We're going to get you another copy, madam. Yeah. Sharing is caring, but in this context, yeah. I think yeah. you should have one at your bedside cabinet. Before you leave, do you have any questions? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna answer your questions. I'm sure you'll be here again soon. We're here every Wednesdays. Yeah. Um, best time to find us is between six and seven. Six and seven. 
Yeah, we try to be here between 5:30, and then we we'll probably leave at nine. But that's the minimum we'll be here. And for you, we we'll make sure we stay until <laughs> nine. Yeah, we we'll be waiting for you. I'm gonna wait for you, madam. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you for taking your time. Out. Friends as well. Like no, yeah. don't worry, my but mom. But have a read. Have a read to the point. My yeah. mom, don't worry. She, she, she makes me go to extended day, and she. Good. She goes at, at work, okay, and she comes until seven. Yeah. So we will make sure we're here after seven just for you, madam. Yeah. <laughs> to be con next Wednesday, madam. Next Wednesday. Thank you, madam. Thank yeah? you for taking your time. Take out, care, yeah? madam. I think um, a lot of it, like you have that conversation, you can see in the person's face that, and in the eyes that look um, when they say it out loud. Like, look, this is what I believe, and then it's like they're just saying these things, and then you realize, wait, what I believe doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. The alternative you've presented makes more sense, and. I think a lot of people know innately that look, a scripture must be perfect. The definition of God, Allah, Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is, is innately it's simple, it makes sense. Um, and we know that, look, we can't compare the creator with the creation. And then when you hear Muslims say that, it's like they respond nicely to it, you know what I mean? And I think that's, that's a lot of the vibes I was getting from her. Um, I pray Allah grants her hidayat, and you're just like, Everything that you were saying, I was saying that like, she's disagreeing with it. And now it's just about okay, you give me the scripture, I need to read it to affirm it. And yeah, if the child wasn't there and we had more time, then it would have been, inshallah, we could have um, gone into other information. Alhamdulillah, the monotheism and Tawheed, I think we've done a good enough given a little snapshot of that, inshallah. Say something, Akhi. Bismillah, bro. Alhamdulillah, perfect summary from Brother Didwan. Jazakallah khair, Akhi. I have to agree with you. No, may Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide her. Ameen, ameen. You can see from her face that, you know, the fitrah was kicking in. And Alhamdulillah, Tawheed, that, you know, Tawheed is sufficient. And then when it comes to Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, we have the authentic revelation of the Quran. Then someone who's sincere, they will take the shahada, inshallah. So, um... So yeah, please make dua for her and you know just ask Habibi. Allah as much to make you know to guide it to Islam and may Allah accept our da'wah and may Allah forgive any mistakes that we made in between. I mean. Akhi, if we didn't have that time concern because of the child, Akhi, I'll push for the shahada because the pr basic principles of Tawheed she's agreeing yeah, with it. Few more, few more steps. Yeah. So she's very close, inshallah. So yeah, I, I, Allah, I mean, it's, it's Allah who what? guides you. No, no, so, no, yeah. no doubt, no doubt. Jazakum Allah khair. May Allah bless you, Khair. Amen. Barakallahu. Assalamu alaikum.